Hello, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to Dark Souls. Woo! We're back. Hey, everyone. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry for the long wait, everyone. We uh, took a while getting to uh, record this second set of episodes here. I kind of wanted to see how... Uh, I wanted to make sure y'all wanted to see more Dark Souls first, <laughs> to be frank. Yeah, we... Uh... We were just talking about it of like, oh, people actually liked this. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't 100 percent sure. I didn't know how everyone was going to respond to. Uh, where am I going? Is this even you, the... there? You have the door down here, I think, open already. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Silly me. Yeah, like we, we recorded that first set and I did not know how Dark Souls that wasn't super lore focused on this channel was going to be received. But uh, y'all seem to be into it. And I, I, that makes me happy because I'm into it as well. So hooray. We're all into it. Oh, uh. Should we talk about what happened? <laughs> we should talk also about what happened. So you may notice some very slight differences in gear, and you may notice some slight differences from where we left off in episode three. And that is because uh, originally when... Uh, <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> looking good, I should say. Uh, originally when we recorded that... Where's the gaping dragon from here? I don't even remember. It's right over here. Oh, great. Oh, wait, that's where Blighttown is, I thought. No, this, this little door. No, no, you're right. It's through this door. Silly me. Boy. Hazy memory. Originally, when we recorded this, uh, Dan Jones and I actually played a lot further than you saw in those three episodes. We got up, we, we at least rang the second bell, and uh, which was rad, but we did all that in one big batch recording, and we were tired by the end of it, and by episode what would have been four of it, it Wait, showed. don't pick that up. It's a heavy crossbow and 11 volts, right? <laughs> It is exactly yes. one heavy crossbow and Memory. 11 heavy bolts. <laughs> Good, well done. Hey, Eddie, continue. <laughs> but yeah, we, we were, it, it showed how tired we were at the end of that session. Like we, we barely talked. We were just mumbling to ourselves mostly. It wasn't fun to watch. So we decided to go ahead and recreate these characters, get them back up to this point and do it again, but proper. So uh, Mar we're with Weru and Lady Jingle Mark II. Yeah, so uh, we we dropped a few things off. We tr I tried not to give us to anything like too game breaking. Um, however, I was lucky enough to actually get a drop off of one of the Black Knights this time, so I'm using that right now for fun. Oh heck yeah! So is, is the so the Black Knight great sword? What what do you I think? It's the great sword. Uh, it might. I don't remember what the titles are. I think it's the great sword. Um, Beautiful. But everyone who is about to be like, well. There goes the run. Uh, I won't use it for long <laughs> because it is stupidly strong. <laughs> like, oh, well, let's see if I remember how oh. to cast spells. Um, yep, I do. I'm going to I'm going to try. I'm going to try to use a different weapon every episode. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> what? That's that's bold. That's going to requ require a great deal of Titanite farming on your part, sir. Right. I guess we should go for that tail, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like a, a big axe. I believe you're right. I'm totally whiffing on it right now, because uh, I'm used to the Zwehander. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should have... I don't think I've bought any heavy soul arrows, which I think are prob... Hey, there it is. Dragon King Great Axe. That is a... That is a thing. Do you get it as well, or is it just me? Just you. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. I think I need to buy some heavy soul arrows, I think. I don't know why I forgot to do it on this incarnation of Wero. We'll get by, though. See, he's already yeah, at health. We're, we're all good. We're all good. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just waiting for him to do, like, an attack. I can easily chip at him, but he's yeah. not cooperating with me. <laughs> don't, don't do the stomp. He's so mad. If, if, if he does the, uh, the body slam, you can hit his head. There we go. Hey, lovely. And get some good damage. Oh, he got mad. Yeah. Do it again. Oh. Sure did. There we go. Looking good. Good hit. Good hit. Nice on. <laughs> Whoa, what, is, what did he just do? I also thought of nice on. I don't know why. <laughs> so, I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, what level is your lady jingle at this time? Uh, ooh, I, I, I want to say last I checked was 29, but I might have, I might have bumped yeah. it to 30. Let's let's just look in the middle of the boss fight. Yeah, I'm 30. I get the feeling you're higher level than me. I think I'm, I may be in the 20s. Not that you would know it, because we are stomping this dragon. I remember this being a lot harder. <laughs> Yay! Huzzah! 
Look at us being good at Dark Souls. <laughs> Victory the achieved. Blight, the Blight Town key. Wonderful. Yeah, get that. I think it's like a black leather armor set there. I, th I think it's hard leather armor. Hard leather. That's it. I'll give that's you half credit. Ugh. Half credit. It's not even worth it. All right. I guess that means it's time. Into the Blight Town we go. May nothing go wrong. Everything's great. <laughs> things go things going great over there for oh, you? Oh, totally. Not poisoned or anything. <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. I'll, uh... You say your summon sign is down here at the bottom of the ladder. I'll let me uh, look for you. Oh, hey, I have, I have clumps. We're good. We're good. Everything's Hooray. nice and safe now. I'm just going to wait here like a good little jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for planning ahead. I don't see a sign yet. Hmm. And I am human. Or am you, I? We went down the yes, ladder? Yes, I am. I did go down the ladder. I see messages. I see the torch for the one more ladder to go down where the uh, big guy will probably attack me. Yeah, mine. Right by the torch. Hmm. Don't see it yet. Wait, there you are. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha ha. There we go. Welcome to my world. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Why hello there? Why hello there? How I've missed you. All right, let's <laughs> get this over with. Mm-hmm. Magic! Spells! Spells! Yeah, look at him. There we go. Yes, focus on me! The magic mage. Aha! Shoot, I need to equip a different shield. <laughs> I just remembered. Spider shield. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do that as well. <laughs> yeah. I love my grass crest shield, but now is not the time. It's, it's super good, but at this time, yes, highly recommend you shield up. This is the land of Toxin. I just died. Cool. <laughs> Guess I'll meet you back at the ladder once I kill both of these guys, which is going to go flawlessly. Okay. Spells. Spells. Having a good start. Having a good time. Come on, man. Nope. Spells. 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 There's one. Ow. Underestimated his reach. Okay. <laughs> I have also died. I'll meet you back oh, at the no. ladder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? This is a warm up. This is a warm up round for Dark Souls. So. <laughs> it is. In our defense, it has been some time since we recorded, so we're uh, shaking off a little rust. Also, uh, reading your guys' comments, uh, the the juxtaposition of like the way me and Dan play uh, made me want to do that even more. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was very much like uh, Dan is Leroy Jenkins every uh, moment he gets. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I, I like the push pull there. That's quite fun. Yeah. We're duoing our way through, so in theory, all of this should be... Why am I... I need to be human. Dan? <laughs> Fool? Okay, hang on. But yeah, like, I... I... Like, we're going through as a duo, which in theory means that... Most everything is a bit easier. Oh, yeah. So, having one of us be a little bit reckless going through... Is, like, I don't know. I feel like it makes it a little bit more fair. Yeah. And I think that's why I want to try the, the new weapon thing. Uh, yeah, like, this is a good excuse to try out silly nonsense because our, like, co-op partner can counterbalance our sil the silliness. The silliness. When needed. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so happy to have armor. Lady Jingle was naked in the, uh, our previous attempt for quite a while. That's true. It's been a lot of episodes that way. Also, uh, for folks watching, wondering what my equipment it is, because uh, it's not on screen, I got, obviously, Black Knight Sword. It's not the Great Sword, it's just a sword. Okay. Uh, spider Shield for Blighttown. 
Elite Knight helm, Wanderer coat, black leather boots, and then I'm rocking Rav Havel's ring and the Ring of Evil Eye for the moment. I need to get me a Havel ring. I am jealous of that at this time. Yeah. I should probably kindle that bonfire to further just to make sure I had more Estus going into Blight Town, but... I, I think I actually kindled that as well. <laughs> yeah, oh, we'll do it live. It'll be fine. Let me get back down to the ladder, finally. We are getting to the bottom of Blight Town this episode. I am, I am determined. Oh, it's happening. It is happening. It is happening. And it went so relatively smoothly on our... I know. ...boss recording attempt. So now it's guaranteed to go... We're gonna die a bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could pop these, uh, dried fingers. <laughs> Wanna do that? Yeah, that will no doubt help. Sure. I think that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you in the uh, same spot? Yes. Sign is okay. down, same spot. Not recklessly jumping down and getting poisoned this time. Of course not. Who would even do that sort of thing? You know... There must have been a lot of wagons coming through this area. <laughs> An awful lot of wagon parts. I never really thought about that, but yes, wagon wheels everywhere. This does not seem to me like a wagon-friendly environment. Yeah, like, like, I get that it's all constructed of, like, found wood, but where in the depths did they come across wagons? That is an incredible question, and I don't have an answer for you. Maybe, maybe you know, this is this is the lore people want. This is uh, <laughs> maybe all of uh, the swamp used to be like a lush meadow. Ooh, and I'm gonna die again. And uh, please, please don't. Okay, I won't. I'll let you shoot your spells. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Allow me to do a murder. Hello, friends. All right, two more. The spells were working last time until I rolled off the side of an edge. Up until that moment, though, the spells were phenomenal. Don't don't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> he was not even trying to fight me. Surprised we didn't get both of them at once. Yeah, same. Never happens when I'm, like, by myself playing this. Yeah, seriously. All right. We're learning. We're getting better. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I know I just kind of jinxed it by saying that out loud. I think this uh, is an instant kill. Oh. I'm I'm really happy you uh, timed that attack <laughs> when I was like, Oh, yeah, I'll stand here and drink my asses. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually just spamming. I am doing such a piddling amount of damage with this longsword. You... It's like 24 damage per SWAT. It is embarrassing. All right. We got a Toxin Boy. I'm going to just run for him. Yeah, get him. I'll backstab this guy for nothing. 24 damage. That's so sad. He did. Okay. Yay! One, one Toxin friend down. All right, back to spells. 317. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. For no upgrades, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> 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 Both can be true. Uh, here comes another one. Two more. Cool. Keep them coming, fellas. All right, jump attack. Here we go. Two-handed. What do you want? How much damage are you thinking? I'm going to say... 500 something? I'm going to say 584. 584? Oh, that wasn't even 584, but he died. What was it? I didn't see the it number. It was like 385. Huh? still though. Respectable. Oh, I guess that's how much health they have. <laughs> oh, maybe. Because I just hit him again and it was 128. Interesting. I didn't know that the uh, damage number it shows you is, like, reduced by their max HP count. That's neat. Um, how much- how many items you want here? <laughs> you know, if it gets us to the bottom, I don't need a lot. I can come back off camera and die a bunch to find these things. Frankly, I just want to- I- I don't remember this bridge shaking. <laughs> Right? Every now and then, like, it shakes, and I don't know if there's, like, a, a reason it does. Yeah, I'm fine going scant on the items uh, if it gets us to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. And if anything, we got the spawn fire, like, right over here. 
Yeah, assuming I can use it. Last time we were recording, oh, I for right, some right. reason couldn't light it, and I don't know why, so... I think it was because I was here, right? I, I mean, I think... I feel like I can still light bonfires when summons are around, but maybe I'm remembering wrong on that. I don't trust my... Like, given how little co-op I did, I don't trust my memory entirely. Eesh. Oof, that's a narrow walk. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> so, can I drop down? Yes? Good. Great. So, bonfire, what do you think? Yay, nay. That's a nay. Okay, so it must be because I got you... But except the one downstairs, like, I can light it because you're... Even when you were... <sighs> Sorry, that sentence didn't make sense. The one at the very bottom, I could still light even though you were summoned, and I don't know why this one is an exception. I don't know. It's okay. We can make it. I believe in us. Okay. Like, I don't believe in me or you as individuals, but together, we can accomplish anything. We can do anything. Uh, okay, there's a toxic guy up there, if you see him. I think... I think I do. Like, kind of like across the way? Yeah, I think like where that, like, fire is. Yeah. Hang on, let me see if I can bait him out to shoot. Yeah, you see him? If he's in range enough where I can hit him with the spell. Uh, yep, yep, oh yeah, there he is. He's shooting. Oop. Good day, sir. I don't know why I backstabbed him, that's just an utter waste when you're right here. And your normal attacks do more than my backstabs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, see if see if he can maybe like he's locked on me. Okay, that'd be so great if I could. Uh, come on, lock on, lock on, lock on. Nope, too far. Okay, okay. I guess we'll use our human legs. We doing this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> okay, really bad timing on my part. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Okay, everything's going great, and if I may say so, good job, Dark Souls Remastered. This is running beautifully. A clean 60 frames per second in Blight Town is uh, such a huge difference. Yeah. But I, I didn't really see where I was jumping there. Glad it worked out in my favor. <laughs> There's a guy just hanging on the ladder right here. I'm just gonna shoot the octopus tentacle thing. Sounds good. He's got crab claws too. Crab claws also. He's got a lot going on. Yeah, those little, like, uh, things on the- Yeah, I actually got really close, um, uh, on one of my other characters, and he killed me. But I was like, oh, I didn't even know- It can kill you? Yeah, he has, like, melee attacks. Weird. I've always killed it from range, I guess. Same. Because I was so afraid. Yeah, I, I've never- I've never once been like, I want to get up in his face. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, like, one-shot me. Wow. Alright, toxic... boy. This is, uh, Pinocchio. We're in Monstro right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy's big. Please die when I shoot you with spells. That would be the best for me. I need to get more spells, I'm realizing. I've, uh, not bought enough. Like, I got a bunch of soul arrows, which is great. I've got one set of great soul arrows, which is also very good, but I don't have any heavies for bosses, which mm. could use changing. Here, by the way, is uh, power within, if you're wanting it. It's where I am standing. Oh. And I'm being shot by another toxic dude. Super cool. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's below. You are kind of right. That? You're not right over him, but yeah, close. I think I see him, but I don't know how I got to him. He's being a real dork right now. Can I target him? No, uh, he's a little too far away. Ooh, I can almost target him, but wow, he can almost toxic me in one shot, so... Oh, there's, there's a ladder right in my face. <laughs> I'll let that toxic die down in a second. Then I'm gonna try... hitting him with the magics. Oop. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> I am so enjoying this playing together. <laughs> it's my it's Lady Jingle's catchphrase. It's really original. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are right. we headed from here? I guess down this way, right? Yeah, down. Yep, you were right there. Look at that. Hello. 
Ow. My face. And you're done. I say no. Not today. Not today. And then we got one of these fake fog doors. Oh, I'm gonna stand on this side of the ladder so you can pass me. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, no, I see what you mean. Okay. Fake fog door. And now I think we're in bug territory. Ah, oh, the bugs. Do not... I have not missed the bugs, Dan. <laughs> yeah, no, don't miss the bugs. Do not miss them. So, I'm curious, what of the bosses that we have remaining, which is most of them, <laughs> which one are you most concerned about? Um... Beta Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't, but now I am, because I hadn't thought of that one. But yes, Bed of Chaos is probably also my answer. <laughs> it's honest, like, Bed of Chaos is probably my least favorite Souls boss, like, in any Souls game. It's a pretty bad one. And, like, I don't feel bad saying that, because I'm pretty sure I've read that the creators also feel that way. Like, it's that... Yeah. It was just kind of a rush job, and they know it, and they wanted it to be better, too. And, I like, I don't blame them. I know how it goes. Oh, crap. I got toxic. Oh, dear. Don't suppose you have any of that, uh, moss you need. I think I have one. We're pretty close to the bottom. We can probably make it. Oh, hey, oh. wanderer stuff. Neat. Haha! -ha. I had one. Yay! Well, let's not run into another of those, then. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> I need to, even if we get to the bottom, I'm going to need to go back up to get a hold of the, uh, I forget what the red, uh, like, sorcerer armor set is down here that is so darn cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what it's called, but I need it for sure, because it's rad looking. And now I'm a mage, so I can actually make some use of it. Chill out, bugs, all right? Bugs. Down, boy. Thank you. I'm going, I'm just running. <laughs> He's going. We have made it to the bottom, though. I wonder if he's going to kill comfortably from this up, from this higher position. Because it seems like many. Magic in the face. Mmm. Tasty. All right, let's grab items and get to that bonfire. Right over here. Oh. Are oh, you grabbing items? Yeah, but you say it's over this way? Yeah. Oh, cool. I was going to guess the other direction, so <laughs> glad you corrected me in advance. Dead bugs. Dead, dead bugs. There we go. And the bonfire, which... Aha! I still can't use because you're here, I guess. That's frustrating. Hmm. What do you what what do you think? Should you maybe should I maybe like return home and you use this bonfire? Let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna just And then let's get you down here, I think, because uh like I don't wanna take chances on fighting Quaylog and one or both of us dying and having to go through all of Blight Town to uh remedy that. So Yeah, that's a good call. We will we will <laughs> reconvene here briefly. Or I guess you will make your way back here, because otherwise I'd have to go back oh, all the yeah, way to the top yeah. of Blight Town That's to help true. you. So sorry I can't be more helpful there, but I'll try to grab some items down here while I'm uh while I'm waiting. Oh hey, look, I'm still poisoned. Dragon scale. That'll come in handy. So I should I sh another thing I should mention that happened off camera, but not because I intended it. Uh if we check my inventory, y'all will see that I have a pretty decent amount of titanite here, like green and blue and some chunks and stuff that really I shouldn't have by this point. And the reason for that is I had an invader uh, off camera when I was leveling this character up. Uh, an invader by the name of Low Level, just all uh, lowercase, who invaded me in the depths. And I was a bit nervous, but, uh, so I, but I got into the bonfire room and I hid. And, uh, I was just ready to pounce on him when he ran into the room. He ran in, I hit him. He didn't he didn't fight back. He ran past me, rolled rolled away, sort of gestured at me, and so I just stood and kind of uh, waited to see what on earth he would do. 
he started dropping items aplenty on the ground, like just tons of titanite and whatnot. Uh, all kinds of great stuff. And then he did the joy emote, and then he pieced out of there, and he was gone. So I really just had like a random gift giver pop up in my game, which is pretty delightful. Like gimmick invasions are have been some of my favorite stories about Dark Souls multiplayer experience. And the fact that I got to actually have one of those experiences myself is pretty wonderful. Have you, Dan, have you, um, you've heard the story of like the fashion police invader guy? Yes. In Dark Souls 3. Yeah, okay. For anybody who does not know of this wonderful figure, there were multiple people showing up on Reddit and other places telling a story about this one invader, who I think he was actually called Fashion Police, who would show up in your world, look at your equipment, give a gesture to show whether or not he approved or disapproved of your look, drop equipment on the ground for you to pick up, which would better complement your ensemble, give them to you, give you a gesture to pray, like, wait until you put the equipment on, praise you once you had had your makeover, and then left. And, like, this is a character that invaded tons of people's games doing this for them, and that is, like, one of the best little pieces of meta-mythology that this... <laughs> that this universe has. I love it so much. Alright, made it to the first bonfire. Running around. Yay! I'm gonna go try to make my way up and find that, uh... Oh, shoot. Mildred's here. Cool. I forgot about Mildred. Well, let's fight Mildred then. That'll be fun. Mildred, long time no see. Oh, hey, something fell. <laughs> I got some purple moss clumps. Thank you, game. <laughs> Bugs, can you please get out of here? I gotta fight a Mildred. There she is. Mildred, hello. Get magicked. Get magicked some more. And again. One more time. Goodbye, Mildred. <laughs> Yay, magic. Thanks for the humanity and the butcher knife. Ooh, a butcher knife. That'd be a fun one to play with. Ooh, I'm sure it would. Okay, where is that red sorcerer's set? I should spend these souls first. I have a lot of souls. More intelligence, please. Crap, got toxic. Boo. Can I make it? <laughs> I believe in you. I have faith. Intelligence is really all I have, but if I had faith, I would be putting it all on you right now. <sighs> I'm on the ground. And bonfire. Yay, you did it. I spit bonfires. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's my summon? There it is. Whew, that was a very stressful run, but I'm here. Sign is down. I'm glad you made it. Here you, okay, sign's down, great. I will watch for it. Didn't have time to go find the red armor set. I'll get that between episodes. Yeah, that is like the one kind of nice thing when between recordings is like, okay, I can go clear up some zones that I missed. Yeah. Them. Because we're, like, we're having to play this where, there you are, where, uh, like, because we can only help each other, uh, how do I actually express this idea? Because we, uh, like, progress in co-op is only, stop resting at the bonfire, is only progressing one of our world states, like, we have to kind of play through everything twice in co-op. Yeah. And uh, there we go. And and normally, like, it would be okay, but for instances of, like, the Gaping Dragon, you need that to open the door, and you can't put your sign down uh like there's a, a fog wall there that you can't pass when you have a summon there you are so like once we get into blight town then i can help him in blight town so we both had to beat the gaping dragon to do this zone and then uh the next few bosses i think we can actually do uh together easily because since fortress like we'll have that open and then um like Dark Root Garden will have all that open. That's true, yeah. So yeah, like, there's stuff you gotta do to make the uh, whole... Uh, to make the whole co-op Dark Souls playthrough thing work. Also, totally have the Rusted Ring. <laughs> I'm jealous. Where do you get that? I don't, I don't remember. 
<laughs> mm. Um, uh, the, uh, you go back to the, uh, asylum. Oh, that's right. And it's that door that's on the, the, the right side of the boss. We have not done that in my, on my um. playthrough yet. Look at you just zooming. Um. <laughs> I'm so jealous, and I'm also so glad you chose to go around the rock fellows, because I don't want to deal with rock fellows. Yes, you won the race, I, won. I know. I won, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me, uh, I don't have any poison. Do you have, I think I have a bunch of- Purple moss clumps. I, I just don't have equipped, I just need to get them in my okay. uh, equipment, yeah. so. Should have done that before going into Blight Town, silly me. Poison's not bad, but like, toxic, man. Yeah, that'll eat you up. And I'm always f afraid to equip it on my thing because it's so, like, rare getting those drops. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally use one. All right. So first time through on Quaylog, we, uh, Quaylog took us a few tries, actually, which kind of surprised me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> what are you up to over there? Run! <laughs> <laughs> Creating stakes. I like it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I should do that. That should be the challenge run. We both have to have, uh, eggs on our head. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, here we are again. And like, I think it takes like 50% of your souls or something. That is a brutal penalty. Right? But you get a cool kick. That's true, you do. <laughs> is it worth it, though? Half your souls for a kind of cool kick. I am undecided. You can't put this on YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> I think I made the same uh. joke last time. <laughs> Uh, after after this boss fight, we should be more or less caught up to where we were before, so... Yeah. Sorry, not sorry for all the joke reuse, kind of. Also, uh, we don't know if it was just because we, you know, never done this boss uh, co-op before, or if there is a new attack, but there is like a homing magic thing she does, and it's really strong. Yeah, there, we saw some attacks we did not recognize on our first play. Uh, attempt recording this, and I'm wondering if we're gonna see them again now. Yeah, I kind of want to piss her off because I think I was behind her and when she did it. I think so. Oh, jeez. Oof, that should have hit me. I feel like I'm super like paranoid because <laughs> it because it one shot me. I'm right now really feeling the fear about how little vitality I've been giving myself on level because uh, I don't think I can survive a lot of hits from her. Of any kind. I think my vitality is still like 12. So one thing that does suck about this sword is the, uh, the strong attack. Yeah. Is super slow. She seems to be stuck. Yeah, she's, she's having a day. She's over lava, so I don't want to <laughs> go get her. <laughs> don't hit me with the sword, please. Or the lava. Okay, I'm out of greater soul arrows. It's occurred to me I've not shown you folks watching, like, what my stats are in a while. I will rectify that after this fight. Apologies. I think we can do this. Chipping away at that health. Please don't hit me with the sword. Or the lava. Okay, no, we got it. We got this. We got this. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> and your remote game is once again on point. That's all I can do. That's all I got. <laughs> I think it is time for some bell ringing. Ring that bell. Baby, you can ring that bell. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Thanks. <laughs> so nice. Someone has faith in me and my bell ringing abilities. Here we go.
That's two bells rung, and the gate to Sens is open. I am a little worried about how that's going to go. Even in co-op, like, <laughs> Sens is going to be dangerous. In fact, co-op may make it a little bit more challenging <laughs> in some ways. Nah, we'll be fine. I'm a... Yeah, we may be. We may be. I, I, I like your positivity. I'll, let's embrace that. We will be yeah. fine. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough still, and uh, we'll be back again soon with more Dark Souls Remastered. Thank you so much, and goodbye. Where's a good emote? See, point down is not going to work for this. Hold on. Let's do, do a, bow. a bow. A bow is good. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Until later. Goodbye.